Oh, those are people. You see, this is like, someone made this on drugs. Whoa, right here. Hello? Hi. Who are you? I'm Sid. I'm Georgina. Are you an artist? No. I paint sometimes. I play the drums in bands. Have you shooting for them? No. Today, we're gonna match art to artists. I'm gonna suck at this. Ooh, some of them have crazy eyes, yeah. Are you ready for your Yes! Oh, she looks like she's just struggling with that. I thought this was it. I was like, yo, this is fire. <laughs> oh! I see. This is a chocolate-covered banana. <laughs> I wouldn't say this is the most subtle. Can I touch it? I don't want to touch it. Actually, I'm not going to touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. Would you put either one of these in your house? Uh, no. I have that reminder every month, so I don't need another reminder that it will come again, so. Who's the artist that made this? Definitely getting female vibes. You, what is your inspiration to make art? I'm really inspired by my family. Okay. Thank you very much for your participation. <laughs> I don't think she sees a tampon as family. You. On the very end. Why did you pick me? For some reason, the vibe of what you're telling me you see with your glasses matches what I'm seeing here. Okay. Yeah, that's yours. Careful with that. This is great. I love a hot tub. Would you put this up in your home? Absolutely. What would you pay for this? $1,000. You know, it's weird. The more I look at this, the more I'm starting to understand it and like it. I honestly, like, did not like this at all <laughs> at first. I just realized these are their feet. Yeah, this is funny. Someone made this on drugs. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, which one of you crazy people made this? Whoa, right here. He looks like he likes vibrant colors. There's a lot of vibrant colors in this painting. Your jacket and your shirt, you literally match the painting. It turned out great. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> There's someone underneath that gold and I can only see them from certain angles. I don't know. I don't like to see somebody cleaning. How much do you think that's worth? I don't know, a hundred dollars? Probably a thousand dollars. Unless they did one of those things where they cheated. Like my mom, I sent her a picture from my vacation and then she sends me a canvas with the picture on it. And I was like, why would I want this? But now I have it. I honestly see somebody that start just being very artistic affording to do this kind of stuff without worrying about if they make or not money of it. Hi. Right here. So what inspires you to make art? I um, think about issues of class and labor. I feel so confident about this. I love this. It looks to me like the sun. It's a definitely a statement piece. Check out my necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Someone that wants to bring the light out of the darkness. Maybe it's somebody who feels like this is what they look like. Got some wild hair here. I think you made this. Him. He's wearing something that, I mean, normally guys don't wear that kind of stuff. Your makeup shining. Like a light in the darkness. Yes. My face. Yes. Great. Look at the flowers. Somebody that's very vibrant, active. I think you made these. Here you go. Wow. Her colors, the projection she has. This is you. Golden babies. I'm getting really weird vibes from this. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's all the babies crammed in a box that, hey, maybe that's the point. There is a message on it, I don't know. Maybe they just like, oh, fuck, this looks super cool. And they just painted. I'm about ready to have a baby in a month, so. Would you give your baby one of these? No. I don't want him to be terrified. <laughs> I feel like this is someone who doesn't think children are treated appropriately. Right here. I could see you making this in a silent rage. <laughs> I feel like you got a dark side. 
I have had some things, but I don't want to talk about it right now. Great, I don't want to either, really. <laughs> is that a leaf? It looks like a leaf. Lumberjacks. Maybe this is family members. Do so you think this is a personal piece? I think so. Or they were in a hurry. You'd spend less on this. That's what my brain tells me, but my heart tells me $1,000. I'll say her. She looks like she's meticulous. This is like your great-grandfather. You wanted to make your mom a present. She was moved to tears. It worked out. I like girls. And these are two girls. I see a lot of love. Just how she's looking down. Maybe she's like really high on like mushrooms or something. Did you put this in your home? Yeah. In my living room. How much do you think it's worth? I'll say $5,000. Somebody who has had a bad trip before. They got invited to somebody's grandma's cabin and they had too much and they had to lay in a bunk bed crying for a number of hours. Are we talking about you right Yes. Now? The last person left, come on up here. I love this piece, by the way, that you made. Wouldn't surprise me if you've done mushrooms before. Have you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Her art is about family. These might be family. I'm not feeling very good about this guess. You win some, you lose some, you know? How well do you think you did? Super wrong. I think I nailed the, the babies in the box. I also think I nailed the gold person sweeping. Which one do you think a kid could make? Ouch. The, the clothes one, because that would be the easiest. Who did the guess correctly? All right. <gasps> <gasps> okay, I, yes, one, that's good. Can we have everybody hold their own art? All right, this is you. Yeah. I liked your uh, psychedelic analogy, I like that. Am I close? Yeah, I do a lot of, I have a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I want to kind of do something, almost a passage in time kind of feeling with this piece. Ooh, how's the passage of time represented? Um, she represents kind of like fading away, passing away, almost, Ooh. and then her love for her. Ah, you're gonna make me cry! <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank gorgeous, you for $5, gorgeous. $5,000 too. Yes? <laughs> That's lit. <laughs> hey, good job. Thanks. <laughs> so I'm a production designer, and these are props that I made for a live game show I work on. Three contestants each have bassinets and they're uh, meant to catch a golden baby. So there is oh. no like a deep meaning into this. Well, they're all meant to be girl babies and it was a comment on the Me Too movement with politicians saying that they're a feminist or whatever because they have, they have a daughter with it when they are clearly not. The golden girls. Right, yeah, that too. So you definitely didn't do a scam how my mom did. No. So I'm from Honduras mm -hmm. and my mom, she came and she's only been um, a housekeeper for 30 years and mm -hmm. she would be embarrassed to say like what her job was. So I paint her gold because I'm not embarrassed what she does. Okay, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about how you did the gold? It's actually gold acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. And then if you dilute the paint, it will be transparent. If you sold it, how much would you want to get for it? I sold it for three fifty, but mm. next time I would probably do it more, like maybe five hundred. I think a thousand. Yeah, a thousand. Yes. A thousand. <laughs> Have you ever seen those like old uh, like boner commercials, Cialis commercials, Viagra oh, yeah. ones? Like that one with like that old couple on the beach in those bathtubs. That's what this is about. You can have a boner on the beach when yeah. you're seventy-five. It is um, inspirational. You know what that stuff was originally for, though. Menstrual cramps. No way. Yeah, they stop them what? for like four hours and they and then they were like, wait, it works for boners. <laughs> and then they just like switched it over. Why don't why isn't it just like a couple's drug? Just like uh, yeah. I take Because nobody you... cares about women. Yeah. Well, yeah. Heck, <laughs> anyway, true. um have you seen the Zeljans commercials? Hi. Hi. Did you just paint on that? Or yeah. is that what it tell me about it? So it's a photograph that was printed using the chlorophyll and a fresh leaf and sunlight. What? I gathered plants and leaves and then printed those archival images on the actual leaves mm -hmm. to create that sense of connection between history and the present and the land. 
Okay, yeah. <laughs> How you do this? Um, this is painted by hand. I'm inspired by Medu Nature or hieroglyphics for you woke bays out there. Why do you think a kid can make this, man? Because... I guess I'm just being really insulting. Is this how you make your living? Still not where I want to be, but I can afford some rent. That's awesome. Hi. Hi again. This makes so much sense. Does it? But it like made so much sense, I was like, nah, not that easy. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What actually is it? I was, um called to do this one. I, I love making tampon and menstruation related art. When you say you were called to do it, do you mean like, by I'm God? Thinking. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I don't mind being reminded of it all the time. I actually have a tattoo of a tampon on my body too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. This okay. is a little vaginal for me. I think that, you know, appeal. I never thought a banana would be vaginal. I mean, do you not feel like you could just, I don't know, make oh, it? There it is. There it is. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so what is this piece? What it talks about or what is it? You were spot on about the sun. I like seeing it as sun rays coming off of the face or lightning bolts striking the face. How long did this take to make? It probably took about a week. I like the thousand dollar price. I'm gonna raise my price on it. What, what would you? It was going for 444. But like you sell it that, for that much, but the, how much money do you actually get? There's hidden costs, like with metal work, you've got like gas in your tank, of course, rent on the space you're working in. I have not kept track because it's kind of depressing. Yeah. Well, I like your work. Thank you. Lot. That was super cool. What's your favorite? Okay. My favorite is probably the Cialis one. It's just really, it's right up my alley. Definitely that one and that clothes, I would love it. The necklace and the Cialis painting. <laughs> For some reason that resonates with me. I don't have ED though. You gonna go home and make some art? Um, I'm probably gonna watch TV. I've been making art for a long time and it hasn't gotten me anywhere, so now I like to watch TV. <laughs> <laughs>